All right, check it out. So at the age of 21, our next guest was noted by Forbes Africa as one of the 30 under 30 Africans to watch in 2015. He's a rising star in the local fashion industry. He's a blogger. He's a man of innovation, entrepreneurship, and one person that I really, really admire, especially for his uh, humble and hum uh, the humility that he displays when he goes out there in the industry, Mr. Siabonga Bayle. Good to have you here, my brother. Oh, How my are brother. you, man? I'm good, man. Long I'm time good. coming. We used to work together on 50-50, and look at you now, man. Yeah, Big people star. don't actually know I used to be a two presenter. <laughs> Talking about the environment and stuff, but right now it's all about fashion and the Threaded Man, which is a product that you started off in university and it's now turned into a fully-fledged business. Tell me about that journey. Um, that journey started when I registered at Lysoff, um, a fashion institution in Johannesburg. Um, and I remember I never had a finesse for all the creative stuff. I couldn't really draw anything. Yeah. But then when I, did, when I did trends, I started realizing that there's a gap in the African market for everyday South African men who necessarily couldn't identify with the luxurious brands that were represented in you know, your niche um, men's magazines. Yeah, and yeah. that's when the idea of the Threaded Man came from. And the name the Threaded Man comes from my parents, who I because I went to Wamba Boys High School. Yes. And I remember it's all about pride, it's all about wearing your blazer. Okay. So my parents always said, see, are you the Threaded Man? Um, you threaded not just because of the clothes you wear, yeah. but also your way you carry yourself as a man. And then I sort of like built that into a lifestyle, and that's where the Threaded Man is now. Yeah, and I think the, the secret to it is that you, you found a way of communicating very effectively the messages of, of brands and, and translating trends uh, onto uh, online media that people can, can consume. Yes, um, what I think is important when it comes to the African fashion market, it's all about relatab relatability. 99% yeah. um, of our population in South Africa does, is not the high LSM, it's the middle class and lower LSM. So when it comes to fashion, I always felt like it was an elite thing. It yeah. was not relating to the everyday person. Mm -hmm. And through the thread, man, I was like, listen, style does not depend on the brands that you wear. It's up to your DNA. You can build your own style by wearing a very cheap garment. You can wear five and top, but it's how you style it that counts. Sure, listen to you sounding like a CEO here, man. <laughs> no. so, so what can people expect when they go onto the Threaded Man website? What they can expect to the Threaded Man is that they can expect, you know, the latest trends. Mm -hmm. So if now that it's winter, guys can say, okay, cool, what do I want to own for winter? They go on our portal, they'll see how we've actually broken down pieces. Yeah. Every single article is curated, taking you step by step on how you can wear a certain outfit. We also mix it with a bit of casual as well as formal wear. So if I say to you, wear this knit that you're wearing, so how do you wear it as a suit like it's this? It's a knit, by the way, not a car, it's a knit. Yeah, it's a knit. and how you've worn it now, and also how you can take that knit and wear it casually. So yeah. we're all about guys investing in good pieces of clothing rather than buying many, many pieces of clothing and wow. doing it without breaking the bank. And that's why it's South Africa's first fashion and lifestyle portal for men out there. So with South African men's fashion having grown so much and of course it beginning uh, the Men's Wear Fashion Week beginning tonight, yes. uh, who are you looking forward to seeing and who do you think are going to be the standout designers? I'm always excited about SA Men's Week because it's such a great platform for young designers. And this showcase, I'm so excited for Genevieve Leons, Richem Nisi, and Lak Duman Mogolo. Oh, yeah. Who oh, recently yeah. showed, Macosa. yeah, who recently showed at Pitu Umo, who's been featured in Vogue Italia. And sure. so just for him to come back, and he hasn't shown at home in the in, in last two seasons. He's been busy. So this, today is literally his homecoming. So I'm very yeah. excited to see the turn up of his show. And also, he, he's studying at the London College of Fashion. Mm. So his knowledge has just grown immensely. Yeah. And so I think tonight will be very spectacular. Fantastic. So if you want to get some tips on style from this man, where can we find you? You are all over social media. Yeah. Um, um, on Instagram, I'm at Sia Beile, S I Y A B E Y L E, same as on Twitter. And then, yeah, you'll find me there and all the social media channels are there. Yeah. <laughs> You can't, you can't not mention Snapchat. This dude attends more <laughs> parties than I can count in one finger each week, every day. He's on Snapchat too. Dude. Yeah. I'm very, very proud of you. And I'll Thank see you, you so at the much, fashion man. shows tonight. The Threaded Man, Sia Beile. Keep that name in mind. One of Africa's 30 under 30 Africans to watch in 2015. Right now, we are throwing it back to the past because it's hashtag TBT.